Hi, do you frequently edit audio video tracks and are tired of manually removing the blank spaces in your recording? Well, there's an automated way to do it. And if that's what you're looking for, this is the right video for you. I recently started using Camtasia to publish some videos, instructional videos. And I found that I was spending a lot of time removing, you know, awkward silences in the audio video tracks. And I found it excruciatingly painful to do it manually. I figured if I don't find an automated solution, I'm not going to be able to sustain the effort in a productive way. For every half an hour of recording, I found myself spending perhaps three to four hours removing dead spaces from the audio video track. That was just not sustainable. So I started looking for a solution and uh, this is what I found. So there was a uh, discussion forum um, and some users have been asking for this feature um, and the first post was about eight years ago. Uh, unfortunately, that feature has not yet been implemented in Camtasia. However, reading this entire uh, forum, I found a couple of pointers to products that would help automate the whole process. And I used one of them and it worked wonderfully. And what I'm gonna share in this video is how that is done. So let's get going. Let me quickly point out the two solutions that can be used to remove dead space. Uh, one is uh, Time Bolt. Uh, the website does a great job of explaining the problem and why it's uh, so severe. And uh, it seems to be focused on just this specific problem. The other is Reaper. This is a more general purpose digital processing solution. I'm going to be using Reaper for this demo. You can get Reaper using this download link. You can pick your platform and architecture and uh, go through the install instructions. Once you've installed Reaper, you can go to this site. Uh, it's, the it's a wiki of the company that makes Reaper. It's called cocos.com and go down to this section and follow the instructions. I did this to get support for encodings that Camtasia supports. Now let's go to Camtasia. I have a sample recording which I'm going to use for the demo. Uh, let me export it out of Camtasia. The result of the export is in the folder I chose and that's where it is. Now let's import this into Reaper. The import is done. Note that uh, I had set up earlier to view the video in a separate window. To do that, all you have to do is go to view and check video. If you don't check it, you don't see the video. So there you go. And if you are not seeing any video here, it's possible that the installation of Reaper and the installation of VLC are of different architectures. So you need to have VLC installed uh, before you have Reaper installed. And both of them either need to be 32-bit versions or 64-bit versions. Next, we're going to be using the dynamic split feature of Reaper. So you go to the item, menu item, 
then choose item processing and dynamic split items or you can just press D on your keyboard to get the same thing. Now what this does is it allows you to visually see your dead spaces so that you can fine tune and adjust uh, based on your requirements. So make sure you have this checked and this checked and uh, this displays the number of splits. So this parameter is the minimum length of a non-silent portion. So which means if it's smaller than that, you can consider it as noise. This is the minimum silence length you want to allow. Threshold is the loudness above which um, the waveform is considered a signal and below that loudness, the waveform is considered as noise. So what you're saying is anything below the threshold is noise and it can be removed. Make sure you have this checked as well. You can also add some leading pad empty space and trailing pad empty space to every portion that you're cutting out. The action to perform, uh, it can be one of these, the first or the second. Let's just use the second one. In this case, I don't have any grouped items, so it shouldn't matter whether it's the first or the second. But in case you group different tracks, uh, you may want to use this. Now, you need to play with all these different parameters to arrive at uh, all the dead spaces that you want to remove without losing any, uh, any portions that you don't want to lose. So let's try a few values. Now you can visually see the areas that are going to be cut out as dead space. The dark areas are identified as the dead spaces based on these parameters. You can zoom in, zoom in or zoom out on the timeline or on the waveform. So you can more closely see the dead spaces and whether it's removing any of the signal you don't want to. So the purpose of using dynamic split is so you get an idea of these parameters. We won't actually remove the spaces using dynamic split. There is another functionality which is very similar. So note down these parameters that worked for you. And let's go and actually do this. Go to the actions menu item, show action list, type trim auto and choose this one and click on run. You can close this. Enter the values here that you had previously experimented with. And what you want to select here is split and remove silent areas. And make sure that none of these are checked. And let's process. Now you could see that the silent areas are removed. Let's just render this now. Let us call it uh, demo result. We want the format to be video FFmpeg and let's choose the MP4 format and leave the rest alone. Um, it's going to save in this directory. Let's just go to the desktop and save it there. It's going to be saved as demo result. Let us render it. Okay, as you can see, the rendering is done. Let's close this. 
let's go to our desktop and here's the demo result and let me now go back to Camtasia and import this so let me just close Reaper let me drop demo result here and now let me play the original file and the transformed file and you'll see the difference this is a test recording to demonstrate automatic removal of blank spaces note that this was 13 seconds long now let me play the video after removing blank spaces this is a test recording to demonstrate automatic removal of blank spaces and notice this is six seconds long so about half of it has been eliminated you need to be careful uh, not to remove any silence that is needed to be in the video intentionally for example the silence while you are displaying something on the screen or showing some options on the screen. This was just a simple example to demonstrate how it works. It's not a perfect example, but it gives you, gives you an idea of the mechanics involved. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.